Hi, my name is Alex Brunk. I'm a geotechnical engineer with ASN Constructors. Hi, my name is Corey Lindemann, and I'm a geotechnical engineer for ASN Constructors. So a typical day uh, in my profession is it changes from week to week. We could be in the field installing instruments at bridge crossings to monitor settlement. We could be scouting the channel alignment, looking at subgrade or we could be in the office looking at designs and plans for upcoming projects. The best thing about geotechnical engineering is that you're not stuck in an office necessarily. Uh, There is a lot of office work with uh, reviewing designs and things, which is is good on those cold days. But um, there is a lot of time that you spend in the field and get your hands dirty doing uh, instrumentation installs for settlement monitoring. We tend to volunteer for things um, as much as we can help out. The soils in the Red River Valley are extremely challenging from a geotechnical standpoint. They're not sand, they're not bedrock, they're glacial lake deposited clays which are very weak. They have low shear strengths. Building anything tall or heavy in the Red River Valley is more of a challenge. They will consolidate with load So when, say, a levee is applied to an area, that weight compresses the clays and there will be some settlement. So this is why we have to monitor settlement at bridge crossings and we use different techniques to expedite the settlement at the bridge crossings um, so that we can keep a construction schedule. One of the cooler things we've been finding on this project, and it's something that we've uh, I've encountered on a couple projects, but not to this scale, are selenite uh, crystals that are, it's a form of gypsum that uh, form these starburst shaped crystal structures. And those are not typically encountered here um, by your normal person digging in the ground. They typically are found maybe seven to 12 feet below grade. So bigger excavations gives us more opportunity to find cool things. As a geotechnical engineer, I'm kind of a rock nerd, um, gem nerd, crystal nerd. So it's been pretty cool to to find some of these things along the way. Working on this project that is gonna have a a huge uh, impact on the community is, it's pretty great. Uh, I know a lot of times when uh, me and my fellow geotechnical engineer Alex are, are driving around looking at sites. We we get so caught up on you know what's happening here, what's happening there, um, but it is on occasion it hits us that it's pretty surreal uh, the size of the project that's that's happening and that we get to be a part of it. It's pretty awesome.